Okay, guys, in this video, we're going to do a demo of the semi-automated version of the niche poking tool within Niche Blaster. Okay, this gives you complete control over every aspect of the video cre uh, creation and the optimization. Okay, so what we can do is, first of all, we create a project and we can give it a name. Now, you can once you've given it a name, you're going to find it's down here. I've already created one and I've got this here, Faceless YouTube. What we want to do is we're going to choose, first of all, the number of threads that we're going to use. I suggest to put this down to one thread so that we can upload slowly, okay? That will stop um, any flagging happening because you're automating too fast with um, Niche Blaster. Next, what we can do is we can come into the video info and notice i'm not going to overwrite any channel protection mode if you're not familiar with what that is then you can come over into the settings in niche blaster you will see channel upload limits this is where you can set the channel upload limits for all of the videos for any channel or for all of the channels or for groups of channels this way you can have a safe mode so this is only going to upload one video per hour and a maximum of five videos for a new project okay and with the daily upload limit if i put the scheduler on to create future videos it will only create one video per day okay this is a safe mode this is what i recommend it's not overly aggressive but it keeps building deep channel content okay it's very important that you can follow some kind of guidelines so that you, you're not getting flagged for um, crazy automation which this software is very very capable of doing notice as well i'm not using any proxies here because all of my channels that i'm going to use are verified and they have got the internal api that we have built in so that we can bypass the limitations from the official youtube api but you can also still put in the official youtube api and if for any reason the upload fails fails from the internal api it will have the youtube api as a backup okay it's optional to use the official youtube api but it's good to have it there so if anything fails for whatever reason and it will happen from time to time then the software will use the official YouTube API as a backup. So you've got a, a higher success rate there, there. Okay, so what I can do now is I've got two options. I can click on here to generate. And what I can do is choose between um, with seeding prompts, which basically is doing some research with ChatGPT, or without seeding prompts, or with a video title. Okay, or what I can do is I can choose from this button here and put in my own information. So for example, if you go over directly into ChatGPT and you do some deep chat conversations with multiple prompts to get to um, the transcript that you want for a particular video, you can just simply input it in here as well. And you can also choose here to generate audio from the APIs from 11 Labs, um, from Play HT, and from Microsoft Voices. There's plenty of options there hundreds of voices to choose from and they're hyper realistic and um, voices as well these are high quality voices okay and also you can put in your transcript description etc if you want to do that let's do it the easy way okay this is the way most people are going to be using it so i'm going to click on here to generate and i'm going to choose without seeding prompts and i'm going to choose here some keywords okay so i want to put something broad in here because we're going to generate a total of five videos okay five videos in total so what i want to do is a broad topic what i'm going to do is just simply um put something like youtube in fact i'll do faceless youtube for the first time and what will happen is chat gpt will create five titles it will create five video scripts, five descriptions with keywords and hashtags and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'll just click on add the videos. Now, when we do that, you will see it starts creating video titles, etc. And this will take a, a couple of minutes to do all of this. Nothing is being uploaded in the semi-automated version until you click this button that says start uploading channels. Okay, so while that is happening here, you can see the titles, etc., have appeared and it's doing work in the background by creating the descriptions, meta tags, and all that kind of stuff. And we can come over into options. And before you even run 
they generate for your video creation, you can come in here and you can select project voice. Okay, so if I click on this, you will see we get a pop up and this is using Microsoft voices. You also have choices for 11 labs, which are really high quality voices and also uh, play.ht, which are decent as well. Um, I prefer 11 labs out of all of them, but these are still very good quality voices in here. So you can um, play around, test them, play an example. For Corden Caulfield was a troubled teenager who had just been expelled from yet another prep school. He didn't know. So we can choose whatever voice we want, okay? And we can make sure that voice is used for all of the videos within your project. And with these projects, you can come back and you can add more videos later as well. And once we have started to upload, you can create a playlist in one single click. It takes about 10, 15 seconds. And you can also add timestamps into the videos as well when you have got your videos uploaded into YouTube just by clicking a single button. Okay, so next let's go and choose stock footages. This is um, the main part of this tool as far as I'm concerned for the quality of the video. We will have over the next few days a multi-scene option in here um, that we can use. And the best stock footage um, API to use is the Pexels API. Okay, we're waiting for approval from them so we can have a much larger choice. Okay, we've been asked to give them um, a mention within the software interface that the API is coming from Pexels. Okay, so we have done that. We've sent it off to them. We're waiting for them to review and approve. And that will give us a whole bunch more um, stock footage that we can tap into, which is pretty cool. Okay, so what we can do now is we can come into the stock footage and we can click on add. I'm going to choose stock footage service. I've got two screens here if you're wondering where all oh, this is sliding in from. And here we can do a search on pixels. Now, before we do the search, we can choose to do a search with horizontal videos. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we can put in here um, YouTube marketing. Okay. And I'll just do a search see what we get back from this and can see we only got one video back but i can use that one so that's one video for one of the uh, one of the videos so we want to add some more just simply come back in stock footage service and i can put in um horizontal and put in the keyword success for example and here we've got a lot more options so we got this one here's got a computer and um, I see this one here's got a computer and uh, this one and we've already taken this one before I'll take this one as well okay so we've added in that stock footage immediately it starts to download onto your computer so you can reuse these again if you want to um, at any, any time and now we have got that ready. So we got a video info ready. You can see the titles. What is Faceless YouTube? A basic, a, a basic introduction. If you want to, you can change any part of that. For example, I can double click on here and I can put in here, what is Faceless YouTube channels? Okay. And here you can see that you've got your description. So you can put in here as well. Um, some call to action, you can make the description longer, etc. This is just the metadata. Okay. And you can see we've got tags. If you want to find more tags, you can click on the tag grabber here. When the tag grabber pops up, you can put in something like cash car, uh, YouTube, faceless YouTube, and basically you can start scraping the tags. Now it's going to give back a maximum of 100 tags and it's going to search the top 50 results and it's going to pull back the top 100 most common use tags between those 50 results. Okay. It takes a few seconds depending on how many keywords you put in here. But when it does pull it back, you can see the most common tags being used. So we can double click. And choose a few of these that fit your video. 
and we can simply just add those in there, okay? And here we can choose as well the generate audio from transcript or from existing audio. Now, what we can do from the transcripts is click over here. And if you wanted at any point, you could take this and put it into chat GPT direct and ask it to give um, more detail if you wanted to. Or alternatively, you can see here we've got inbuilt improvement prompts. We can click on that and we can say, make it longer. Okay, so we can just choose in here and make it longer. At the moment, it's got 1,065 characters. So if I start improving transcript, if I click that start improving transcript button, it will take a minute or two and it will come back with more characters. Okay, so I paused the video there and after about 60 seconds, I've got an extra couple of hundred characters. You can also go into ChatGPT and expand it from there directly, then just paste it in here if you choose to, okay? You can also use generate with a custom prompt. Rather than using that personally, I, I would just rather go in, into ChatGPT and basically just sculpt a better script by adding multiple deep sort of prompts so until I got to the point where I'm really happy with it, if I wanted to use that at all, okay? And so what we can do now is we can just save the changes. So we are already, except for we have to choose a channel. So we click on accounts and we have already got a whole bunch of YouTube accounts in here. Um, you should have some YouTube accounts already added. You need to follow the instructions on how to add those from the training in the tutorial page, okay? now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on import here and it's going to pull in those different channels that we have got added. You can see I've got 58 different YouTube channels in here. I'm just going to scroll down. I've got one that is called Niche Blaster that I'm using for testing and I'll import that one. Okay. This is a verified channel as well. Okay. So this is going to be um, useful for the purpose of being able to do a lot more with it. And all we need to do right now is click on start uploading videos. Now, don't forget, I put in the settings for one thread. So I'm just gonna click on that and uh, this is interesting. We've got a warning here um, that one of the videos, top, tip, top tips for success on faceless YouTube. Okay, we basically have to enter some more keywords. So what I'll do, I'll just fix that title, okay? And here we can put in some tags. Okay, so I will put in here. Okay, I'll just put in one keyword at this point so we can just quickly do this. And the software is doing a lot in the background. Some things might um, need an extra uh, click or something. So I'll just take some of these. Okay, so I've now got my keywords in here. We can save the changes. Okay, now I'll start to upload again. You can see it's doing all the work now, generating the audio track, it's putting together the videos, etc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this, but you can follow the status bar here and see the progress as it's working, okay? So that, that way um, you're aware of everything that's being done, creating video files, etc., and then it will start to upload. And I will come back in a minute. Okay, so you can see that it's gone ahead and done two videos so far. Don't forget that we put it on a time delay. So it, it's actually done one more video than what it was supposed to do, I'll get that checked. But you can see that this way of uploading is gonna be far more safer and we can just click through and start to watch one of the videos. I'll just open this video up and We can, we can start to play this. Welcome to our latest video on Faceless YouTube. Okay, this is why it's important to check your scripts and to put the right keywords. And I put Faceless YouTube. I should have put in here Faceless YouTube channels, okay? Faceless YouTube channel tips or um, tips for success or something like that. I would have got far better quality video scripts come back if I had done that. The voice as well is okay. It's not as good as Eleven Labs, okay? Eleven Labs is by far the best one to use. I use Microsoft Voices for this. You can use Eleven Labs with, via the API by putting it into the software. It will give you far better quality video. And you can also, with 
the next update put some background music and you will have the choice of multi scene as well and that should be out in the next few days okay so very quick and very easy to be able to do this just paying attention to the keywords that you are using okay keep it on safe mode and check your video script read through it and make sure that you're happy with the video script if you are not you can just simply copy and paste that into chat gpt directly and ask it to rewrite in a better way or give it some extra guidelines if you choose but that's the beauty of the semi-automated version you've got complete control of the stock footage of the voices of the video script you can even add your own video scripts in there so you can do videos about any topic whether it's affiliate marketing local marketing or whatever you choose to do so if i wanted to change any of these i can simply open it up and re-edit that particular video or i can take this video title and regenerate a new video by doing that within the semi-automated version what we can also do is we can create a playlist but i'll wait until i've got all of these done if i'm going to create a playlist so i've got five videos within it and we can also update the channel description that fits this set of videos okay we'll create a, uh, a channel description from chat gpt the software will put that into the channel it takes about 10 15 seconds and so does the playlist take about 10 15 seconds and these are optimized playlists and, and channel descriptions with keywords and hashtags as well what we can also do is we can start to do the timestamps the key moments and all we have to do for that is click on this button and it will start to generate the key moments and once that is done we can go and have a look at the description and you will see the timestamps perfectly formatted and in these video descriptions this one has been updated successfully, so we'll open this up. And the other one is done as well. So bring this video over. And we can come into the description. You can see we have our key moments, all in the click of a button in seconds. Okay, this is powerful stuff, guys. Really powerful stuff. The quality of the video is completely in your control as well. Okay, wait till the next update when we have the multi scene, when we have the background music. It's going to be phenomenal. Okay, and for those that didn't see previously, we have a case study. We have a case study where we have generated over 38,000 views with a YouTube channel. Okay, so this channel here about plantar fasciitis, I knew nothing about this topic. The software has created six videos and we've got 38,000 views. Okay, you can see if I refresh this, this is real. And the view count at the moment is rising by about five or 600 video views per day. Okay, if we come into the channel content here, you can see one of them has really taken off 29,000 views, another one here with 5,000 views, another two with over 1,300 views, etc. This is really, really powerful stuff, guys. And to be able to see the channel analytics, I'm going to refresh this so you can see this is real. Okay, we come into the traffic sources. You can see most of the traffic is coming from suggested videos but all of the traffic is free traffic there is no paid ads there is no bot views or anything like that this is real stuff okay being able to do this kind of stuff very quickly very easily just in a few clicks is a game changer for anybody who wants to get into the cash cow youtube channel niche okay a faceless youtube channel niche thanks